Uh, Lewis, how do you compare? Ask, how do you compare prices with carbonite? Uh, yeah, I, it's not even comparable at this moment. You're not you're not competing in the same service. Uh, so 877-896-3611, extension one gets you the sales. To talk to our partner specialist, give them your contact information so you can get our webinars that are posted for like tomorrow, which is welcome to SOS. We'll give you an idea of what you need and what we need from you to get the project going and how long it'll take to complete. Uh, I believe that's at 1 p.m. PST tomorrow, but uh, talk to your partner special to do that. And when you call in and give them your information, also give them this Kindle code, which is K783Z, as in Z5. So I'll, I'll go ahead and type that in the chat. So go ahead and give the give that number to the partner specialists, and they'll be able to do that. All right, I'm going to go back up a little bit here. We got a lot of questions coming in. Keep them coming in. Can our Dimitri ask? Can our clients simply use or sign up for a basic package without going through us, but where we get some form of back end recurring revenue? You know, Dimitri, we don't have any type of referral program that way. Uh, but I'm sure if you want people to contact you who are interested in becoming in the program, they wouldn't mind selling you a package. Anyone want to sell Dimitri a package? Um, Will, thanks a lot. Will says, great product, great demo. Uh, John asks, so in a production environment with multiple servers being backed up with server safe, would it be best to practice backup the image to a single server than use image stream to upload all the images to the web? Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> Dimitri says, thanks, Will, for the cool million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, we just haven't put together any type of affiliate program like that. So uh, we just launched Service Save in November November 1st, so it's brand new, and it's just been absolutely keeping our doors packed. Uh, we're just uh, really expanding our growth uh, ever more. We've had a bigger conversion from our existing partners than we could have ever imagined, and it's, it's been really terrific. And not only that, but we've had more new partners than ever before. Uh, Pam asks, Lewis and Pat asks, uh, well, one is, is your solution more for a medium-sized company, and what hardware is required? All right, let me <clears throat> let me pull up our website again. Let's go to the knowledge base. Let's go to support. Go to the knowledge base. I think this diagram may help understand what we're doing here. Do I need a staging server? Okay. So this diagram really explains how you do this. 379 a month is not an offer to uh, directly through SLS. Uh, okay, we don't even sell. We haven't even begun to sell server save directly yet. Uh, that actually will kick off Monday, but it's uh, going to be not at the price you're getting it at. We have no intention of competing with you at a price point. Plus, you're offering managed services behind it, so we really wouldn't be competing anyways. Uh, where is the Canadian location? It's in Toronto. All right, so you see here that. What we've provided in the Service Safe program, again, is an end-to-end -end backup solution. You have the mobile apps, which are generic branded. You load them on your Droid, your iPhone, the iPhone and Droid apps. Uh, well, actually, the new versions, we had to go back to the, we're still, we had to redesign support because they both changed things so dramatically on us. Uh, but you can back up your images and your contacts from your phones. And the Droid, you can actually back up a lot more than that. 
You have an online file and folder backup program that's very simple to use. Even your users could use it. If they don't want to, that's, that's okay. It can just run in the background. But you install that at each workstation and laptop so that you have your uh, you have a better backup solution that way. You can run that every hour and it's super fast. And it also gives your users the ability to access their own backup data. Uh, image stream on the staging machine. This can be any Windows system. So I recommend Windows system, 64-bit, get like loaded up with RAM, you know, 8 gigs, 16 gigs, whatever, whatever you want to do there. Enough hard, um, enough hard drive space to account for all the images that you're throwing there. But this does not require it to be a server operating system, which is what a lot of people require. How do NAS devices figure in? Uh, just a storage device. So actually, if you had a NAS device on here as well, and let's say you're running staging, uh, running it from the staging machine, you would just point image stream to that storage device and just pull it off site. No, no additional license. So the only thing that requires license is you would need a license per server to create an image. Just to get files and folders backed up off site or anything else off site, uh, just Transferring data to the cloud does not require a license, it just requires a valid backup account. And a backup account can be installed on multiple devices. And then we have some questions. Can we do an image level restore if we had a failure? Yes, absolutely. That's what we just showed. So you can restore you could restore it to a virtual drive that hadn't even been created yet, or you could overwrite an existing volume. No, it's not a VM-ready image that's being created. Pat, is that an OS-level image? So what you would use is you could use the Shadow Protect or the Storage Craft recovery tools. It's just a recovery pack, and you don't need a license to use them. And you could convert the image to a, a, a VM-ready image, although Storage Craft actually recommends that you don't do that because the conversion takes a long time. And they recommend actually just loading up your system and mounting the images in new drives. But it does contain system information. You would just need to convert it to a VM-ready image. And that's in store for you know the next three, six, and nine months. We expect by this summer that we're going to have the ability to actually cloud boot images in the cloud or on, on, on our cloud. So if you back up an image off-site, you'd be able to just say, hey, poof, load this VM up, and then you get to go. And right now, we, uh, we're, we're looking to track that by sometime this summer. We're really excited about where we're taking on this whole thing. What we have right now is just the tip of what we're getting into. This is, uh, we're, we have a really excited year planned out for us. Aaron asks, so five licenses allows for five image creator installs but one terabyte and exchange granular recovery installs, but, but one terabyte of cloud space we get can be used for any number of online file and folder backups in addition to the images. Absolutely. Uh, Will asks, what about competitions like Amazon, Microsoft, Google? Not really sure. You mean like the, the S3 services and things like that? Um, I, I don't know. I don't really consider it. Like Amazon S3 was born because their retail market was failing and they had already purchased a lot of hardware expecting growth to continue. And then they thought, well, we have all this hardware, let's lease it out to people. So it, it, it wasn't really designed with the idea that you have to go through that. And I don't really consider them a big, a big threat, although Amazon's a, a great company. I just don't really see them operating in this space because they don't. They, just, they offer storage, not uh, backup. Yeah, everyone, uh, Pam says, loves the idea for the new product in the summer with Cloud Boot. Yeah, everyone does. I mean, that's some, that's some real sexiness that comes out of backup. And it's not every day that you can say something about a backup or recovery tool is sexy, but Cloud Boot is sexy. 
uh, how many Final Four backup accounts can I have under my reseller account? As many as you want, no limit. I think I think sexiness just brought Greg into the conversation. The cloud boot's sexy, you know, can't hate on it. Do you have recommended price points that resellers should use for certain offerings? Yeah, we do. Actually, we've been looking in the market, and it, it's uh, price points is really based on machines and versus gigabytes. So gigabytes is something that we have to base off because we're in that backup storage quantity type of business. But when you go out to your customers, it's, it's different. You, you have a service behind it. So what I find that a lot of people do is they offer a managed service package that includes some basic monitoring tool with like Spiceworks or IT Control Suite um, and, and, a, and some sort of backup solution. And there's a base price for that. Uh, a lot of people do some, something like a half hour of their hourly rate per workstation uh, per month and then an hour of their monthly rate per server per month. And if they're doing image-based backup off-site with Exchange and all that, then it's something like two to three hours. Like, so we see servers with this type of backup strategy in place usually get market priced around three, four hundred dollars per month. No big deal. Uh, and we also have a, we have a separate webinar where we talk more specifically about go-to-market strategy. Uh, one, your, your partner specialist will talk about that with you. Uh, but once you're on board, we have another webinar every Wednesday where we go through and actually discuss these exact strategies. What's my pricing strategy? How should I package this together? Um, that's why on this, on this website that I had up, I actually have listed, oh, where is it? here it is, a sample risk registry. So I go through a little bit of you know formal project management that you can go through and uh, really formalize your your service offering because once you start doing services you got to have good documentation and it takes time to put it together that first time but after that it's pretty simple to do it's like that initial base contract you know you just got to get that done and once you do then you go through it but the risk registry is a beautiful part of any backup solution really brings things into perspectives. All right, any other questions? Anyone Anyone looking forward to getting on board today? I'm looking forward to having you all on board. Go ahead and call up your partner specialist. And again, the number is 877-896-3611. And you're going to talk to them, give them your information, and then you can plan a time to go through a more specific evaluation of your business, how you plan on answering this, and what you want to and what you want to get started into. And then they'll give you information about what's going on. And again, if you want the if you want this deck that we've been going through, if you go to managedonlinebackup.com, I'll type that in here. You go to managedonlinebackup.com. That's our full partner. It's an example of our integrated website, our web package, our premier web package that you get as part of the pro, as part of the being in the program. And you have downloads to the program deck, which is what we just went through: disaster study, system scanner. And then when you actually become a partner, uh, we have a partner resource center that has all sorts of information that refer to different backup strategies. For example, email templates that you can use. Uh, collateral for putting together a features page uh, and really knowing what features should go to what type of market, uh, that sort of thing. So I, I appreciate everyone's participation in here. It's been a great time. Uh, Will, Aaron, Taylor, or Dimitri, Patrick, Greg, all you guys, it's been great to have you on. And we look forward to having more questions on. John, thank you as well. Stephen Brooks.